All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from the North Coast Brewing Company, and they're out of Fort Bragg, California, and this is their Barrel-Aged Old Rasputin 24. So they're calling this one a Russian Imperial Stout that is aged in bourbon barrels. It comes in at 11.6% alcohol by volume, no IBUs less in time of review. This bottle is just over 16 months old. So it's been a long while since I've had any version of this beer. The last one I had was back in the mid 2010s and the bottle I got was infected. It used to come in like the 500 milliliter bottle, so 16.9 fluid ounce bottles. And it was infected. It was definitely something off with it. Um, but I've had other bottles prior to that that were really good um, from prior vintages. And I really like this beer. Um, Considering that I love Old Rasputin, the base beer, like this one's always pretty damn tasty, but I still prefer the base beer over this beer. We'll see if that's the case with this release. So this is actually uh, the 24th release and the um, bottle on date is back in September of 2021. So I think they have released uh, the 25th anniversary in 2022. I think it's like basically they release it once per year, I'm pretty sure. And each, um, and the numbers uh, kind of, indicate what batch release it is. So this is the 24th batch of this beer, but whatever. Let's crack this one open and get in the glass, see what we got going on. Uh, I'm really happy I was able to pick this up locally. We do not see a lot of North Coast stuff anymore. Uh, we basically get old Rasputin. You'll see old stock here and there. And then this beer I just saw for the first time in many years. So anyway, let's give it a pour here. Yeah, it's looking really nice. We'll try to generate a decent head here if we can. Something like that. And yeah, we're gonna get right into this one because I reviewed uh, Old Rasputin, I think last year. And yeah, that's just like a world-class Russian Imperial style, right? And this has always been really good when it's not infected. So yeah, it's pitch black in the glass. Hold up to light, pitch black. About a finger and a half of a straight up brown, super creamy looking head. Um, that just looks beautiful. That looks like a barrel aged beer that you would love to drink. There's good alcohol legs on the side as well, but not overly done at almost 12%. Let's get those. Yeah. The bourbon is so intense. Wow. So it has this big, like, spicy, peppery bourbon. It's sweeter bourbon. You get a little bit of the vanillins from the vanilla and the oak. But then it goes and dives right into the base beer. So it has, like, a charred, roasted malt quality. There's baker's chocolate, caramel, uh, toffee. A little bit of, like, a grapey sensation, too, like a dark grape. Maybe a darker stone fruit as well, like a cherry. Maybe a plum. It's a little bit of like a molasses character as well. Wow, what the hell? This is super complex. Holy shit. It smells sweet, but not over... It doesn't smell... And, and, it, and it's funny because I try to explain this when I just drink non-adjunct barrel-aged imperial stouts because it seems like most barrel-aged imperial stouts nowadays have all kinds of different adjuncts from chocolate to vanilla to this to that, right? And those can kind of dominate. When you're drinking a um, core four beer in terms of the ingredients plus the barrel, all that is imparted from the ingredients of the beer and the barrel itself, right? So you're not having any of those actual adjuncts or additives kind of influence it. And the base beer is just fantastic. I mean, we know that uh, based on the review I did. I think I think the base beer is fantastic for a Russian Imperial Stout. Has a little, like a touch of like this earthy kind of bitterness too. I just, I just want to say I kind of get lost. I think it, it has kind of a robust sweetness to it that's not cloying or pastry-esque and i'm really loving that from a nose aspect i said like baker's chocolate but as i continue to swirl it like turns into like a darker chocolate this smells fucking great let's get into it cheers everybody yes yes and yes what i love about this beer and what i could have I think, again, the last time I had like a regular um, vintage of this, it wasn't infected, which, you know, we're talking a good eight plus years ago, seven, eight years ago. What I remember about this beer, though, is that, again, I didn't like the barrel age as much as the base, but what I do like about this trying it now is that I do get the base in this beer, which is sometimes lost in a lot of barrel age beers. You'll put whatever beer in there and the base will get lost. That's not happening here. It really isn't. Body, it's a bit thin for what it is. Almost 12%. This is like lower side of full body. I like to see this medium to straight on full body. It's a bit thin. That's one negative, right? 
Maybe it makes it a little bit more drinkable, but something like this where I'm gonna drink a single bottle at most, maybe split this with somebody. I want it to have like a more thick, viscous kind of, not necessarily syrupy kind of feel to it, but it's almost 12%. I want a, I want a hefty kind of dose of um, the body, you know, being thicker. The mouthfeel though, it's carbonated to a decent degree. So this is like mild to moderately carbonated, more approaching moderate. It's not as smooth, as creamy as I like, but that's okay. Um, it does have a smoothness on the palate, but it's not smooth, creamy. It doesn't need to be, right? So I'll say body a bit thin, mouthfeel, not superb, but damn good. The taste, it's pretty much what I said in the nose, dialed back a little bit. And what I think I like in the taste is that I'm getting more of the base beer and less of the barrel where it was reversed in the nose. So the first thing that hits me right at the tip of the tongue is a roasted, charred kind of malt sensation. Yeah. Quickly evaporates into a nice, sweeter, caramelized sugar. We're talking brown sugar. Um, caramel toffee in that realm. As it continues through, the chocolate hits, and it is more like a 50-60% cacao bar than anything else. So not, not much sweetness, just chocolate flavor. There's a little bit of a coffee roast as well. Touch of that molasses I was talking about in the nose. Then midway through the palate, I get hit with this like sweet dark cherry into a plum, so a stone fruit kind of vibe. But then it quickly transitions into the barrel, and the barrel is giving me um, vanilla, it's giving me oak, so the vanilla's there, and then I get a slight peppery bourbon kind of sweetness. This finishes full on dry with a nice mild to moderate bitterness. I would say more approaching moderate, but right in smack down the mild to moderate, where I think the regular beer is like moderate, maybe a touch over. So I think the barrel uh, is kind of knocking down the base in terms of the bitterness, which I think is welcomed when you're trying to incorporate the barrel. S still has a decent bitterness. I think the dryness is kind of making up for it though, because it is almost full on dry. Beauty about this beer, 11.6% wear. I can't, like on the palate, I know, listen, I'm not an idiot. Actually, I am. But when we're talking about ABVs on the palate, can I decipher this is 12%? I could if I started to um, guesstimate and say, hey, this tastes like a barrel-aged beer. This tastes like a bigger Russian imperial stout. But is there any kind of astringency from the alcohol, which is any, any kind of astringent character on the palate? Is there any kind of warmth? into the throat, any kind of like heat in the back of the throat and in the chest. There's a warming in my chest, but nothing that would indicate is 11.6%. So this drinks like it's like 10, 10 and a half. Highs the alcohol relatively well, almost extremely well for what it is. So that's nice. The um, the barrel just, again, I, I think it, it accentuates the base beer. I think that's what this beer does. And, I, and I'm here for it. Uh, yeah, I, take another sip and I think we're just gonna put down a rating because this is really good. Again, I don't like it as much as the base because, again, it, Old Rasputin is just a classic beer, and I just love that beer. It's so good. But that beer right there, it's not far behind what uh, Old Rasputin is. And if you want a really tasty barrel-aged Russian Imperial Stout, this is the beer for you. This is dynamite, honestly. I'm trying to get every last drop. We can't let it go. So, rating. Um, I think I gave Old Rasputin like a 4.75, 4.7, something like that. This is not that far off, but it's not quite there. So, barrel-aged Old Rasputin 24 from North Coast. Um, I have no issues giving this beer. We'll go high 4.5 out of 5. We're we'll going to go 4.55. Why? Because that's the number that came to me. 4.55 out of 5. This beer right here is great. This is a great barrel-aged Russian, Russian Imperial style. And again, just over 16 months of age. This is aged relatively well. I don't think I've ever had one of these like super fresh, but I think it would be a fun beer to try, like really fresh, a couple months old at the, at the most. Um, price point availability, this is where it's going to differ for everybody. Here in Buffalo, New York specifically, I paid $5.99 for that bottle. I don't know if they were selling four packs of the place I bought it at. If so, you're talking $22, $24, probably a four pack. $5.99 for a 12 fluid ounce bottle, something that good. Yeah, all day. I mean, you're talking almost 12% beer. I mean, I, I pay just as much for 16 ounce cans of like double IPA. So like, yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good value for what it is. And um, distribution, I have no idea. Availability, like again, here in, in Buffalo, New York, West New York in general, you don't see a ton of North Coast stuff. But I'm glad that this one was hanging out and I was able to grab it. I did not see the most recent release of this one. Or maybe this is the most recent release. But again, 
this was 16 uh, months old or just over 16 months old. So I'm pretty sure they have released the 25th like anniversary of this or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Anyway, 25th batch. Anyway, if you've had this before, anything within this series, let me know what's been your favorite vintage. Have you had this one specifically? What you think about them? Um, I really like North Coast stuff. Uh, I was talking to a good friend of mine and viewer of the channel, Billy, about North Coast stuff. Uh, he was talking about like, you know, do you get stuff from them? And I was like, not outside of like this old stock and like old Rasputin and maybe I think like one of their fruit of Berlin devices. We don't don't see much stuff from them anymore so um it's a bummer but it is what it is distro is crazy nowadays so yeah, for every brewery or two you lose there's another one to make up for it unfortunately a lot of the breweries that are leaving the scene and leaving my area specifically are classic breweries like this um we don't see avery here anymore another classic brewery that i just love a lot of their imperial um stouts and their barrel aged stuff so it's a bummer but anyway appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the beer patrol to the next one cheers